When people are looking for new software or the latest music, and they don't want to pay for it, many of them go to a website called the Pirate Bay, where they can find and download virtually every program or MP3 file for free. The catch? Well, it's illegal. The Pirate Bay's founders flout copyright laws, which makes them really unpopular with companies and regulators trying to crack down on piracy. One of the site's developers, Gottfried Svortholm Warg, was just arrested in Cambodia and deported to Sweden. Cambodia is a popular place for fugitives from all over the world. A contributor in Phnom Penh, Justine Drennan, tells us about the debate in social media over why authorities chose to go after a copyright violator instead of worse criminals hiding out in the country. Cambodian Khmer language sites have been silent about Sortham Morg's arrest, but expats in Phnom Penh are speculating about the reasons behind Cambodian authorities' sudden action. After all, Sortham Morg had lived here for the past four years. Many suspect U.S. involvement. They cite WikiLeaks cables suggesting U.S. pressure behind Sweden's crackdown on Pirate Bay and the U.S. trade ambassador's presence in Cambodia at the time of the arrest. One user on local forum Khmer 440 responds, the Swedes are fast becoming a U.S. sock puppet. Another believes that Swarthen Morg is a hero for fighting the arrogant entertainment industry, even if it is just for filling his own pockets. This user has a less favorable take, writing that Pirate Bay's founders made millions and never gave a single dime back to the artists they claimed to be helping. But another commenter, who claims to know Swarthen Morg, reports, the legal costs during the trials ate up whatever he had made, and all of the founders sold off their portions of TPB a few years ago. Many are surprised that Sortham Morg was suddenly arrested, given that his presence in Phnom Penh was well known. One user says, I had no idea who he was until somebody I didn't even know said, that's the Pirate Bay guy. If it was ever a secret, it wasn't well kept. Sortha Morg's arrest was especially surprising because Cambodia is a good place for sex offenders and pedophiles to hide out, this user notes. Run a semi-legal file sharing website and wanted back home to pay some fines? Extradited. Crimes against children and wanted back home for more crimes against children? Allowed to hang around and get escorted in a government VIP Lexus. The user is talking about wealthy and notorious Alexander Trofimov. His royal pardon in Cambodia meant that, even as a convicted pedophile, he continued to live in freedom and comfort, and ride around in a Lexus. Because of Trofimov's ties to the Cambodian government, Cambodia dragged its feet for years before yielding to pressure from Russia to deport him in June. The two other pedophiles pardoned alongside Trofimov still walk free in Cambodia, along with scores of others who feel they can act with impunity here. In Phnom Penh, I'm Justine Drennan for Link Asia. In retaliation for Warg's arrest, an underground hacking group known as Null Crew claims to have hacked websites belonging to the Cambodian army and other government agencies. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.